Hi everyone, Dr. Candice here. We're gonna do rest pose for the winter phase of your burnout. So rest pose is a pose from the embodiment toolkit and we're using it here because in winter phase of burnout, we're very depleted, typically our immune system's down and we're quite run down already. And most of us, if we are overachievers or over givers, we have this tendency to put our needs and our rests aside for the beauty of the project or for helping someone else. And so what we're gonna do is look at rest and invite rest in and really start to look at what that quality is like for us. The reason rest is so important is because one, it helps heal our bodies. It's critical to our well-being. So from an immune system point of view, from a sleep point of view, and if you think about a time maybe where you've been up all night, you haven't slept, really think about how you functioned in the day. You know, typically more irritable, your cognition wasn't as great. So, you know, you put that, if you keep not allowing yourself to rest and recover, then those sorts of things start to build up over time, which is how you end up in the winter phase of burnout. But also, like it really staunches our creativity if we don't allow the time to rest and to recover. And so for wanting to make impact into the world, rest is key. So we're gonna start, uh, we're gonna do a sitting and a lying down version of rest. And I'll start seated and, um, and then we'll go to lying down and I'll guide you through both and whatever's more comfortable for you, uh, by all means try both and see how it goes. So seated, I'm going to sit with my back against the wall. If you're in a chair, sit with your back against the chair. And so what you want to feel here is supported by the wall, hands behind the head clasped. You can even give an ah. And give yourself the idea or the imagery of looking up at a beautiful blue sky, watching the clouds go by, or looking into the trees and nature, whatever, whatever lovely restful imagery comes to you. If it's hard for your shoulders or your hands to have them clasped behind your head, clasp them in front of you, let them rest, hands on, on knees if need be. The clasping idea here though does lend itself to inactivity. So if we're, our hands are together, we're less tempted to type, to text, to do all these things. It's sort of um, a gentle reminder to put away all of the activity and the noise and allow ourselves to rest. So part of the reason why we clasp. Um, but if it's uncomfortable, as long as you're getting the idea of the supported and the rest here. Lying down version. We have knees up and together, which takes away the tension in our legs here. Hands clasped either here on the belly or again behind the head. Same idea with the imagery, looking up at that beautiful blue sky watching the clouds roll by, allowing your body to deeply rest. And notice your thoughts here. Are you agitated? Do you want to get out of this pose? Are you wanting to like be efficient and go back to your work? Are you feeling like you could spend all day here and just rest? So notice where you're at in the spectrum. And this pose is not only for physical rest, it's also mental rest. So if you're writing your to-do list in your head or thinking of your projects or what you need to get accomplished, notice that thought, take a breath, let it fall away and take some time to think about what's pleasurable for you. What are you doing when you're resting? So I'd suggest that pose for a minute a day. 
even twice a day, maybe morning and night, to actively invite the quality of rest into your day. And with that, over time, what we're hoping the impact will be is that you can recognize the small moments of the day where you can take a minute of rest, a little bit more active rest, and how important rest is. So I've had clients who've sometimes done this pose over a period of time and then suddenly are sparked with all these ideas because they've given themselves a moment of, of introspection and a moment of rest. And from that then generates energy and ideas so that they're able to then make impact in the world. So hopefully that's helped. Give it a try and uh, let us know how it goes.